気展開。無料空所。What's up, YouTube? It's Ish, your boy Spencer here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the Arkham franchise. All right. Obviously, if you clicked on this title of this video, you obviously know what, or at least have a general idea what I'm about to say. And no, I'm not hating on this game by any means, guys. I love Arkham series. I really do. It's actually one of my favorite franchises of all time. Yeah, pretty sure it's yeah, top ten. But this game is being like, is this franchise is being hit for a Batman 25. 40 80 piece combo right now people like left and right we're getting hit with what the fuck is this projects for arkham games because bro what the fuck has been going on with this franchise as a whole and i understand i know rocksteady has gone through a lot and they are still pushing suicide squad i've seen the season uh what was it season two with the uh what the fuck was that shit the miss freeze <laughs> I don't even want to get to that shit. I honestly just don't want to even dive too deeply into it. I'll give it to you like this. This shit's stupid, bro. I'm be honest with you, bro. I understand people are like, the Justice League's still alive and they're still around. They're gonna be around. They're gonna show up again at the end of the last season for Soul Side Squad. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how many seasons they plan to do. But I won't be sticking around to find out. I'll just watch it on a YouTube video if I remember by that point. I'll just watch it then because who the fuck is sticking around that long, bro? Who the fuck is gonna wait for this shit? This shit is garbage, bro. Like, what more do you want me to say, bro? This shit is garbage. Like, <laughs> if I didn't want to play the first season, fuck it. That is just the first, yeah, the first season. And then, like, why would you think I stick around for the later seasons? It's still the same mood or shooter game. Nothing changed. I mean, cool. We get some new narratives. I mean, come on, bro. They literally bought in a whole nother Joker from another universe. And it's like, and he's worse in every way. You know, I'm, I'm getting too deep into it. I'm here to talk about why that is a major factor, though. Why these Arkham games, they have to stop, guys. And I'm saying this for the sake of everyone. For fans, for just developers, for everybody involved in this needs to stop. Like, it has to stop, honestly. And it's honestly hurting me at this point just to see one of my favorite games constantly get shit on like this. This game franchise deserves better, but I think he's had his run. I think he's had a great run. I say 90 years are great. I say an amazing, magnificent run. You know, a golden run like no other for a superhero genre game. And this game here definitely just set a new. Standard for superhero games in the future, you know, just getting that standard up there and everybody else trying to follow it, you know, maybe try to do their own thing, of course. But you, uh, nonetheless, you look back on Arkham games, you always think about good things, think about that combat system, you know, the free flow, the way you fight, the way everything just feels so real, so real when you go into the night of Gotham. My only regret about the Arkham franchise as a whole, just my personal opinion on it, is that. I feel like they done like Batman characters near like let's see extra like Robin you know extra characters around they got kind of dirt kind of dirty like for example what was it which Robin was that with the bald one was like Tim Drake right why was he bald now I do know as well apparently he was like a cage fighter at some point what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck was that all about we never got the time to play Batman as with Jason as Robin. We never got a chance to play with Batman when he had took Dick in as Robin. It was like, bro, what was going on? Like, well, we just skipping Robins and shit. We just got to this point. I mean, I get it. it's a video game. You know, you only can't, can't really tell everything in a video game. But damn, can we at least get to some game where we, you know, do a Batman and Robin, you know, fighting side by side? But I think you did have something like that where you can, like, DLC stuff like that. You can play as Robin, Nightwing, Red Hood, stuff like that. I'm talking about just like a Batman and Robin type of thing, though. I mean, if I remember in these games, like Robin showed up every now and again, it was like, Batman, I'm trying to help. No, Robin, go back to the Batcave. I don't need your help right now. I need you on the comms. I need you to take care of this and do this and that. You know, Batman being Batman. But for the most part, I love the Arkham games, though. They did so great. I mean, they were such a great game, honestly. They still are. I didn't even say they was. They are great games, all right? They're just, I want this franchise to stop being beat on. I really do. This is just getting out of control, guys. That Arkham Shadow was, it done it for me. All right, I'm literally sorry. I'm afraid to see what comes next. I'm genuinely afraid to see what comes next for this franchise because it's obvious that at this point, Running Brothers games literally don't really know what to do with the Arkham series. Like, obviously, even if they were to do more pre sequel series games, which I wouldn't be against, it. it'd be different if they were actually trying to get like a good developer game studio. That's not VR. 
and try to actually do something like Arkham Origins, another game like that, and get that going. Because that's one of my favorite. It is my favorite Arkham game, Origins. And it's like, bro, we're getting games like Arkham Shadow. And I got nothing against VR, guys. I got nothing against it. Trust me. I played VR before. I had a friend that had an Oculus. She showed me a lot of cool things on VR. Uh, there was one game I played. It was like, uh, I can't remember the name of it. It was like Hot Spot or something like that. It was really, I think it was something like that. It was a really fun game, though. VR has a lot of cool things going for. I'm going to be honest. I don't see that many people playing a VR Batman game. I mean, it may be cool at first, but to consistently keep making it because this is not the first VR Batman game. There is a Batman VR, and then there's Arkham Shadow. So it's like, what are we doing at this point? It's like, what are we honestly doing? And it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy that she decided to go with that. And it's on a meta quest. That's the, that's the wildest shit about that. A meta quest? Who the fuck owns a meta quest, bro? Who owns that? I literally know nobody who owns a meta quest. I know nobody. And that may not seem like much at all, but like, just, I don't think, do you guys know anybody who know a meta quest? I know plenty of people own a VR device, an Oculus, maybe a PlayStation VR or something like that, but a meta quest though? Like that specific one, bro? Nah, bro. I don't know nobody who owns one. I genuinely don't know. Only people who probably own a meta quest are people who probably collect just VR devices. Or just collect shit like that in general. I, that's the only reason I could think of you having one, honestly. But, hey. It is what it is. They made their decision. Because I was like, right now, Warner Brothers Montreal is working on Wonder Woman. And I think that's going to be a very amazing game coming out in the future. But the Arkham games, yeah. I want them to do something different with Batman. They're going to do something new with Batman. Just leave the Arkham series alone. How does one fumble that badly, bruh? They literally had the formulas and everything, and they decided to make Suicide Squad. That story, there's a lot to go into about that. I mean, killing the Justice League, I think that fits more for like an injustice type of thing, but like the main Justice League, I mean, I would rather play as them than kill them, you know? And then I need just that, it's like they don't want to use no other characters other than Batman. I love Batman, don't get me wrong, but like they, I'm glad the Wonder Woman game is happening. But damn, you got Green Lancer, Martian Manhunter, Flash, Superman. I mean, like, what are you going to use some of the other heroes? Like, there's plenty of DC heroes. And Arkham has had a great and amazing run. It really has. But I think it's time we put the game franchise to rest. That's not to say that we can't still talk about the game, make new videos on the games that came before. You know, there's plenty of things to do. I will hope you guys continue to make you know, credible videos because you guys honestly are really creative with those Arkham videos. I've seen the good videos you guys make and put on YouTube, man. Those combos you had is absolutely insane with Batman. I'd be like, damn, I ain't never had no combos like that in the game. Shit, I attempted some of that shit sometimes. Didn't work out too well, but <laughs> it was fun to try, though. And some of the mods y'all make for these things, especially Arkham Knight. i seen the mods y'all make and just had me fucking in tears, bro. But yeah. Like, at this point, it seems like Rocksteady, well, I didn't see just Rocksteady making this decision. Wonder Brothers is just shopping the Arkham franchise around to whoever and could just make whatever they want. Obviously, they did. They chose Arkham because popular franchise, and they're hoping people are buying a Meta Quest just to play it. I mean, I'm sure somebody will. A dedicated, very dedicated fan of the Arkham franchise probably will buy a Meta Quest to play the game, and I salute you, bro. I really do. I salute you. Because you're a true, true soldier. And I had to salute you for that. Because honestly, I would rather just wait for that shit to show up on YouTube at some point. <laughs> That's just me. I'm not buying a meta just to play that game, bro. I'm not. It's actually crazy because people have been asking for a new Batman Arkham game for years. Years. The last one, the main one, was Arkham Knight. And that was what 2015 i think 2015 i think it was came out so yeah and i remember when the first one came out 2009 man i feel so long ago I remember when that came out got it i tried to get a ps3 and i had a ps3 at that point already i tried to get the game and it was like sold out where i tried to get it from i mean game style i was trying to get it from sold out and you know, i was so sad because i literally couldn't get the game now i eventually got it later on like for christmas and i was so geeked all right i didn't care i was already a year late i didn't even care though i was playing batman all right, can you blame me? I was only like, I'd say like 10, 11 at the time. I think I was 11. But still, though, it was just like, bro, I was really having the greatest time ever. And that combat, the Tetra mode, all that. I remember the first time I played it. Actually, now that I think about it, though, I think Arkham Asylum is the only Batman and Arkham game that I didn't complete all the way through. That's something I need to go back to. I played it halfway, but I never beat it, though. Every other Batman game I play all the way through, though. But seriously, though. I just had to make this video because I understand you guys want more Arkham games, but I think it's time. I think it's time we all 
you know, acknowledge the fact that even if they were trying to make more awesome games in the future, it just wouldn't be what you want. It's either going to be VR or we might just get another Suicide Squad. And I I don't think, <laughs> I don't think we should go through another Suicide Squad. Please, I'm begging. Nothing but a Suicide Squad. No, seriously, Warner Brothers, if you're watching this video, I'm I'm serious. Don't make another Suicide Squad. That, that wasn't a joke at all, by no means. I honestly can't take it no more. I'm tired of a lot of service games. I need a break from them. I played my share of them. I had some fun with a couple. I think right now the only live service game I'm honestly having fun playing is the first Descendant, and that's a lot of fun. But that has a lot of content going into it. So if you guys haven't played it, you should really try it out. It's a really fun game. It's free on the PlayStation Store right now. So, but that and no, that wasn't a sponsor. If you were thinking that, I just decided to say that because at the time I am playing it. So, anyways, Batman Arkham games, bros. I just feel like I just need to get this off my chest. Because I see it on Twitter all the time. People asking for another Arkham game after what they just saw or Arkham Shadow. And I admit, I have to respect your bravery for wanting to take the chance of wanting another VR game. Because <laughs> that's exactly what you're going to get, a VR game. With all the with Rocksteady full focused on Suicide Squad. And they are fully focused on trying to get to a season through. And I don't think they're going to make it all the way to the end. That's just me because what that Mrs. Freeze thing. I don't know what the fuck they expect. I wonder what the player number count looks like for that game at this point. I remember it's pretty high when I first played it, and I played it around like I say to a day after it they came out. Yeah, about like a day or two after it came out. So it was pretty a lot of players then, but now I can only imagine what it looks like now because after you beat the story, what do you even do in that game other than run around and shoot all day? And like you ain't even get no DLCs where you can just play as like different universe heroes and all like that. They're all villains, so or anti heroes in that case. And yeah, man, this Batman games. I think we had a good run starting from the asylum all the way up to Arkham Knight. And then I think that's just should be the canon history. I think they should just retcon Suicide Squad out of the story, the main storyline. But I don't think Ron is gonna do that. I think that's just gonna remain canon. And uh, it's unfortunate that this is just how it's going to be for the Arkham games and just how it's going at the end. I wish things could have gone better for Batman though. He deserves better. These Arkham games deserve better, especially for their ending. Especially how great they are. They deserve better ending than what Batman got in the Suicide Squad. That fact was so lackluster. It was so fucking lackluster, bro. Fighting him using, what is he? I can't even remember. What was it like? He used like Scarecrow gas and shit like that in Suicide Squad. Bro, that was so weak, bro. He didn't even really get a chance to learn what happened to Robin. He didn't get no answers to none of that shit, bro. It was like, damn. Like, what do we, what do we even play this for? What was the point of it? And I was giving it the benefit of the doubt, because, you know, Ross Daddy had a good track record to that point, but boy, oh boy, I was in fucking denial, and I should have just listened when I saw everyone literally was saying, and when the early screenshots came out of that game with it being a live service game and a looter shooter, and people was like, yeah, this game's gonna be garbage, and this and that, bro, and the writing was on the wall. They were never wrong, I'm trying to tell you. Never again when I ever die. If I see some leaks of a live service shooter game being shown inside of a screenshot, you best believe I'm finna take heed of that warning. Because if I see it, it's my it's automatic dub for me, bro. At this point, it's automatic dub for me. It really is. You can't even trust when you see Batman or Arkham show up in a trailer son no more because it just might be VR. It might be something worse. Next thing you know, we might have a Batman Arkham dancing game. And I'm not kidding, guys. I wouldn't put it past them to do some shit like that. Like, just be dancing in Arkham music or dancing with Harley Quinn and all the other Rose Gallery and some random shit, bro. It's just at this point, you don't know what to expect from Warner Brothers when it comes to the Arkham franchise. They're just doing whatever. It's all about the money now, and it's unfortunate. And that's why I said that the Arkham franchise needs to be put to rest. It has to be to stop this from happening for more random games coming out. Story-wise, it may be good, but what's the point if the games can't be played by majority of the fan base and only on fucking VR, bro? Like, who thought that was a good idea? Obviously, I understand it was probably a exclusive contract type of thing to promote the new product, but like, damn, is that what we doing now? I mean, you can't even get a new Batman going for the PS5 or the Xbox Series X, like, damn, or the, you know, just like, can we get something? A little drip or something? But you know, that's what I'm saying, though. I was, the Arkham Series need to rest. Get some other DC heroes, man. Get some of those. Get a Green Lantern game. I'll let's see what happens with a Green Lantern game. Green Lantern's pretty cool, Suicide Squad, even though you couldn't play with them. 
and he only used guns as constructs. Why the fuck was he only using guns as constructs? I just thought about that. Why the fuck was he only using guns as constructs in that game? He's literally a lantern. He can create anything he wants. That shit is uncreative as fuck. I just thought about that, bro. He literally could have used anything he wanted and used the guns the entire time. What a waste of a green lantern ring. But anyways, I was getting sidetracked. It's just another thought came to my head right in that moment. Batman, Arkham, great franchise. But, uh, yeah. I, I'm tired of seeing my, one of my favorite franchises just get beat down like this over and over with VR and live service. And I'm afraid of what will come next, honestly. You might see years go by and next thing you know, uh, the, the, another VR game come out and next thing you know, it'd be something after the Suicide Squad. I, I don't even want to think about it. God, that sounds like a nightmare. It really does. But with all that being said, those folks, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think below. What is your favorite Batman Arkham game? I'd like to hear you guys what you think about this whole situation. And I'll spare show and I'll see you guys next time. See ya. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman.